welcome back to my channel so today i want to do a five year review on my speedy 30 bandolier in um ibn damir ibn my goodness i forgot the name of it so yeah um i got this roughly five years ago let me go i still have my receipt you can tell it's old because it's got that brown um paper receipt thing so i got this on november 29th 2015. it was it retailed for 13.90 um so just over five years ago so five years and three months so 13.90 was the price back then so now i just checked uh recently the price now is i believe it was 1680 or 1690 so yeah so um price increase just kills you but you know what it's, we still buy it don't know why so anyway um i haven't used this bag for the last year um given the fact that we didn't really go anywhere so yeah um so I want to go ahead and do a over five years review um, on this bag. Um, it, I mean, I do take care of my designer handbags. I mean, because they are expensive, you know, but the reason why, I mean, the first one I got, I think uh, my husband, um, my first, very first Louis Vuitton was the Speedy 30, just the, the Speedy 30 didn't have the, um, bandolier uh, strap it was in monogram um i saw somebody in college um um wearing it and i was like i was i don't know why i was so intrigued um but then i started looking i started watching videos i started watching unboxing and that was it i was hooked so um we got it and i used it for i don't know a few times um come to find out um the rawhide leather the they call the shadow leather on the monogram can get wet it's gonna get water stained and over time the handle part of it is gonna get dirty looking and um dark patinaed which i didn't really care for so besides that you can't use it when you know it's it's like it, you can only use it when the weather permits um other than that you can't wear it if it's raining snowing or whatever and i wasn't about to um um you know you spending so much money on a handbag that you can't hardly use so i sold it and got this one instead and i didn't really care for the the handle part, just the handle part without an option of the crossbody. And that's the reason also why I sold it because I, I, you know, you can't go shopping and just holding it like this. I mean, it just makes it so uncomfortable and you can't really like have it on your appropriate arm the whole time, you know, and while you're shopping, it's just not um, practical. So, I sold that one and got this one instead, which is comes with the strap. Um, it also has an additional um, um, to make it longer. If you want to do it a crossbody, a shoulder bag, or you can detach it. It's a detachable, so you can um, use it as a hand uh, held or yeah. So I like that it has all that options. And for the most part, I don't have any issues at all. Um, of all the Louis Vuitton I, um, I have, um, I only had one issue was with the, I think it was the Agenda PM in uh, Monogram, which the clasp part uh, broke where you um, put in the, the, um, the paper. Um, whatever you put in it, I, I, I don't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, so that part um, broke the first day. So um, that's when I went back and got the medium size um, agenda in Damir Ibn. So anyway, 
um that was the only um um issues that i had with um all the stuff that i have uh, louis vuitton that i have so so far um this one i don't have any um i have like a minor maybe minor uh tarnishing right here because it this thing rubs off all the time um no tarnishing on the zipper pull um everything looks pretty good i don't have any like rips or um scratches or anything like that the bottom part is pretty good um yeah don't have any scratches on another um part so yeah and for the most part when i do use this bag either shoulder bag or crossbody so yeah don't have any issues with the belt buckles they're all in pretty good shape um even this one i don't have any scratches or anything like that there's you know i mean when i was wearing this all the time i didn't baby it but it's i'm just really uh glad that it's uh held up um pretty good this bag has been through rain, snow, and um, any weather. So the zipper is still pretty good. Um, the only thing is I got the inside dirty because um, I don't use um, an insert. Um, what do you call them? The bag liners that everybody uses. So I got that spot right there. I believe that was from a lotion that I accidentally left open. So for the most part, it's pretty good. I'm not the only one, I mean, I'm not the only one. I'm the only one using this bag. So it doesn't matter, I have no plan on selling it. So yeah, um, I guess I could use a bag liner, but I like my bag to sag a little bit. You know, I don't like structured bag. I don't like fancy bags. I don't like bags that has, they're stiff and no. Uh, I like classic bags. That's why I only have certain Louis Vuitton in my collection because that's the one I actually want. I don't, you know, I don't buy a bag just because somebody bought it, you know. So yeah, I like just to keep it classic. I, I don't want any, um, you know, fancy printing or anything like that. Um, yeah, so in this one, I don't have any issues as well. I mean, the brass part, the gold part has held up very well. I mean, aside from this D-ring where this uh, clasp um, rubs off, you know, but it's hardly no noticeable. So overall, this bag has held on very well, you know, no issues or anything like that. And I like that it's soft and, you know, I like my bag when it's a little saggy, when you carry it, that's why I don't like the liners. Um, I don't carry a lot of stuff anyway, just my basic stuff, you know, so. Yeah, I think I did a, a what fits in his bag or what's in my bag. But um, if you want me to do a newer version of that, um, you know, for those of you who are thinking about getting this bag, um, for my frame, um, the 30 is uh, suits me well. Um, the 25 for me was a little too small for my liking. Um, the 35 was just too big. So 30, um, just, um, it fits perfect. Um, I'm 5'6", so yeah, I don't like, um, I, don't, I mean, for a Speedy, I think, you know, for what you wanna use it for, um, the 20 is just not gonna work for me. I think it's just a waste. For a few hundred dollars more, you can get the 30. It's in, you know, it's in, it's a good size. It's not too big. It's not too big, not too small. And yeah, 
and I'm just really happy that I decided to get it in a dummier event instead and I'll have this bag for the rest of my life you know this bag is probably still gonna be around and I'm you know I'll probably be dead you know and this bag is still around so yeah um, I'm not sure if this was where was this made I think this is made in the USA I'm not sure it just says made in Paris Louis Vuitton Paris so I think that means it's made in the USA um, it doesn't really matter to me I mean my never full is also made in the USA um, which is fine and the same issue I did with my never full I got my first never full was which was a non monogram in a medium um, size I sold that one too because the same issue couldn't wear it um, you know with the weather and, and stuff like that so I decided to go back I sold that one and got the Damir event in um, GM the big one so might as well you know get the biggest one so yeah and I usually use that one um, I did use that one pre-COVID um, a lot for work which was nice and I also use it for traveling and stuff like that when we used to go visit my mom and yeah so so far I'm very pleased um, with this bag um, I did I don't regret getting this color I love this color this is the classic um, the, uh, pattern um, so yeah and it's just unfortunate that um, Louis Vuitton just keeps raising their prices so that's unfortunate so anyway so that's my uh, quick um, review on my uh, Louis Vuitton uh, Speedy 30 in uh, Damier Iben um, this just five over five years I, I mean it's amazing how it held up so yeah last year was the only year that it, it had a break um because they didn't go anywhere you know so yeah i'm very pleased with it so if you're deciding to get this one you won't regret it especially if you're not into the vachetta leather and not have to be uh worrying about it this is a very carefree bag very carefree i mean you can't ask for a better carefree bag than this so you get it wet you get it dirty just wipe it off no problem so yeah so anyway if you enjoyed watching this video um if you want me to review any other um louis vuitton that i have um let me know and i'll, I'll be gladly uh I'll, I'll be gladly do it for you and also um yeah i'm still doing my giveaway don't forget to enter that i'll link this video that video uh, in here somewhere um just follow the instruction and also i'm still debating whether i should go ahead and give um if i if i don't get the 500 subscribers i think i'm just gonna go uh, maybe 200 or 250 depending on what comes first or what you know the thing is i just don't want to hold on to the prices too long you know i would just want to give them out and um yeah so yeah we'll see what happens um you know if i reach 200 to 50 great and then i'll make that decision um so i can go ahead and start uh giving out the, uh, the prizes and yeah so i mean if i reach 500 that'll be great and i do appreciate for those uh, subscribers that stuck by me for all this time um since day one i really do appreciate you very much and yeah so anyway um that's my review for this bag so hopefully you enjoyed it thank you so much bye bye